How's it going guys? As you can see me behind the camera here, waving. Um, I just want to do like a quick boot up just to, just to have it timed and uh, you can see how fast it is. I do have Windows Hello set up so I'm not sure if it'll take my picture and do it but uh, the power button's on the right side here so I'm going to press it and you'll see it turn on in a minute. Power button turned on. Booting up now. Hopefully I got Windows Hello set up. Oh, okay. Yep. Boot it up. Ready to go there. Awesome. Nice and quick, not very long. Don't really have anything turned on here. I just want to do like a quick like overview of some of the uh, apps on here and like the software that it comes with. Let me close that out. Go to task manager real quick. Host process for setting synchronization. I don't know what that is right there. Look at that one away. The trackpad is really nice. I have big fingers so it's kind of hard to use at times, but it is nice. And this screen is just incredible, honestly. Um, all right, so nothing really running on the app there. There's a bunch of stuff, but nothing's, honestly, I don't know what the most is that it's running. It's not really much right there. All right, so what I wanted to show you guys was uh, some of the Samsung software. If you go down here, and it'll come up uh, Samsung settings down here. Hopefully you can see that. There's the keyboard as well, if you guys want to see that. But yeah, it's right down there. I'll pull it up on the taskbar. All right, so you can see it comes with, uh, there's a thing called auto booting. Uh, so what it does is if your computer's off and um, if you open the lid or if it's in sleep, it'll turn it on. Um, so that's auto booting. It's kind of cool, but it also, I'm not really sure, I haven't tested it yet, uh, if there's any glitches of the slightest movement turns the computer on. I haven't really checked it yet, um, but I will if you want me to. But yeah, that's pretty simple auto booting. If it's in sleep, hibernate, off, screen off, whatever whatever the case may be, you op you if it's closed and then you open it up, it'll turn on. That's basically what that is. Uh, so now USB charging. Okay, get to know my PC. I don't need to do that. So USB charging. Well, there's a USB Type-C port on the left side. And what that basically means is if you turn that on, you can charge uh, your computer with it. Um, fast charge, I believe. You can charge other other products with it. If you wanted to, you could hook up other products to it. But yeah, that's basically what that is. If you USB Type-C uh, charging, it's straightforward. Uh, so maximum performance mode, obviously maximum performance mode is maximum performance mode. I mean, that's straightforward. It's going to, like, if you're on battery, it's not going to last long. Uh, right now, my estimated time says 3 hours and 13 minutes. Um, that could just be something wrong, uh, whatever the case may be. Um, so the screen, there's the brightest the screen can be at the moment. But then when I go to outdoor mode, whoa, that goes up to 450 nits and holy crap is it bright. And that is actually for a 1080p display, it is very clean and, and, and very, you don't really, I'm as staring at a white background here, there's hardly any pixels. I mean, actually I can't even see any pixels. If you're, I'm about four, well, maybe two feet away and I don't really see much pixels, it is clear as can be. Um, video HDR mode, I haven't tested out, but as you can see, it kind of like darkens the picture a little bit, um, like a local dimming, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, as you can see, outdoor mode is, is, is super bright compared to regular mode. You, you turn that on and it is bright. All right, so convenience. Auto booting, well, there it is. The system starts automatically when the lid is open while the system is hibernating or shut down. On. Silent mode. Uh, reduces the fan noise so the users can use the computer without hearing noise. Well, I haven't really, I haven't really noticed much uh, fan noise. It is super like not loud at all right now. I mean, I, I can barely hear the fan. Actually, I can't hear it at all. To be honest with you, I can't hear anything. You can't. 
Uh, I have a fan going on in the kitchen you might hear, but yeah, I, I can't hear anything. Not at all. Uh, so you can turn that on. It'll, it'll put it into power save mode. So the screen goes dim. And yeah. Now if I turn that off. Turn that back on. Turn it on. And turn it off. And there you can go. USB charging. Supplies power to the chargeable USB port, even when the system is in hibernation or shutdown states. So, basically straightforward. If you wanted to USB charge something, and even if it's shut down or hibernation, you turn that on, you can charge it. Very easy. Power management. Battery life extender plus. This function is similar to removing the battery from the laptop and powering the laptop from AC adapter, which extends the physical life of the battery. The maximum battery charge set is, to, is set to 85% when using this. Okay. Go to detailed settings. Does anything come up? Detailed settings. Okay. So yeah, if you're plugged in and you want to, and so it's not charging up to 100% for hours on end, you turn this on. It'll basically shut down the battery, turn off the battery, but only supply power from the AC adapter. So if you didn't want to extend the, if you want to extend the life of the battery, you probably want to do that. If you're plugged in all the time, just so. You know, batteries don't want to be taking power, like, all the time. You don't want to be giving it power hours and hours and hours on end because you might think it's good, but it's also wearing out the battery at the same time, and you don't really want to be doing that. Not good. Not good at all. Maximum performance mode. Well, it's what I said. In maximum performance mode, the surface temperatures rises, and the noise may become louder for models equipped with a fan. I believe the 15-inch model is equipped with a fan because it has the Radeon uh, 540 2 gigabyte GDR5 uh, GPU. Not sure about the 13-inch, but this is the 15-inch. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off just so it doesn't start heating up on here while I'm doing this. But that's the setting right there. Network. Kind of just sh shows all your networks. Uh, gives you a rating on, the, on it, I guess. Um, I'm not really sure what that means. Um, your signal-wise, your... your, your your decibels, whatever, <laughs> your signal rating, like what it is, like 95% right there. I'm um, not really exactly sure. All right, display. So what you can do is outdoor mode. This increases the brightness of your display so you can clearly see the screen inside, even natural light outdoors. Outdoor mode consumes a lot of battery power and drains the battery quickly. When the screen is turned off or the system restarts, outdoor mode will be automatically disabled. Okay, so I'm still 100% and I've been having this on for a good minute or two, a couple minutes, six minutes or so. No percentage down, which which is fine, not too bad. So video HDR, like I said, you turn that on, I think it's like local dimming almost where it gets a little darker in the background. Uh, I'll have to test it fully or look up like whatever Samsung says about it. So display power is function is to maximize battery life. Okay, well, I don't really wanna so let's do auto mode. All right, how about dynamic? As you can see, I don't know, you probably can't see it very well with the video, and I'm sorry about that, but standard. Looks pretty good. Photo editing, don't really notice a difference. Reading, you can probably see that where it gets yellow. I kind of like auto mode. Auto mode looks great. It's it's clear, it's fantastic. It's There's really, you know, not much else to it. It's it's nice. So movie, there's uh, you can do auto mode, movie, uh, sand, uh, Sounds, sound wise, sound effects haven't really, I mean, tested them, but the, the speakers sound good in a sense. Um, you know, it's it's not the best thing, it's not the greatest thing. They're bottom firing stereo speakers, they're not uh, incredible. But uh, so, keyboard backlight is decent. Um, so, this is dark, dark, bright. So, dark, medium, third medium, bright. They don't get really, really bright, honestly. Not, I mean, not the greatest thing, but you, you see, you see what they do. All right. So, camera, beauty camera function in the camera app. Well, I don't really need that, but okay. So yeah, basically maximum power performance. USB charging, outdoor mode, I want that off, video HDR, convenience, power management. I'll try this battery life extender, see what it does, honestly. Um, if I turn it on now, it'll probably turn off the computer. I 
don't really want to do that, honestly. <laughs> I, I don't want to do that. So let's look here at the Radeon uh, settings. So as you can see here, it pulls up this um, gaming global settings you can go to. You can change like NVIDIA anti-aliasing uh, anti -aliasing method, a uh, morphological filtering, anistrop anistropic filtering, I cannot say words, texture filtering, uh, tessellation, shader cache, OpenGL, triple buffering, vertical refresh, stuff like that. Um, you can do a chill kind of frame rate limiter. So reducing the frame rate during idle portions of the game and giving you a full performance during the fast paced action video. You can do for videos. I'm guessing, I guess this is what it does. You can have cinema, classic, enhanced home video, outdoor, custom, vivid sports, uh, display. Uh, I'm not connected to an AMD thing right now. A monitor. All right. So as you can see my software, I'm at 7.1, uh, Crimson Relives Radeon Software Edition, Windows 10 64-bit, 16 gigs of system memory, Intel Core i7 7500U at 2.7 uh, gigahertz, uh, software, stuff like that, hardware. So, yeah, that's basically it for, the, for, for AMD. There's really not much else to it. Um, you, it's like a little bit like NVIDIA. I have to look into screen record... All right, civilization. There's an ad, seriously, in the software? Come on, get out of here. So let me see if I can play something for you on Spotify and uh, see how loud I can show you guys real quick. Go to my podcast. I don't know if you guys have heard of Dan Carlin, Hardcore History, but he is incredible. So the fact that everyone thought the Russians were going to take forever to mobilize. The Russians were seen as a giant, somewhat clumsy colossus, less organized than the Germans and the French and people like that. And so by the time the Russians could get their act together and get their monstrous armies in the field ready to fight, Germany already would have defeated France. Their entire plan for action involved throwing almost all their weight against the French immediately and then turning after French forces were defeated and throwing those forces against the now ready. So you can see it gets pretty decently loud. Uh, sure, it's not really, really loud or anything, but it gets decent enough, enough for you to listen to stuff if you want to um, do whatever. So as you can see, I pulled the pen out, and on the right-hand side there, if you look, it shows... Let me close that out. Let me close that out. All right, so if I get close enough to the screen and I press... If I get close enough to the screen, I press that button there. If it's gonna work. All right, so you have create note, view all notes, smart select, screen write, show, sh shall, <laughs> shall window, really? All right, so let's see what this is about. That's air command, okay. So let's see here, screen write. So it takes a screenshot. Let me see if I can yeah, erase that. All right, all right. That is actually really nice, like the pressure sensitivity. That is actually really nice. If you guys want a detailed video on the uh, like S Pen and what to do with it, I will gladly do that for you guys. I'm not really big on art or anything, but I could test a couple different things if you want me to like take the pen and be like, write this, write that, whatever. I'll do it. Hope you guys out. That's actually really nice. Not a lot of screen wobble. There's a little bit, but mostly, you know, stay still. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just like an overview of the software. Um, and if you guys have any other questions, like uh, want me to test any games or test the to S Pen software further, I will gladly do that for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions. Like